In this video, we're going to look at the binomial expansion. We've already seen the binomial expansion for positive powers, but now we're going to look at negative and fractional powers. The binomial expansion is given to us in the formula book. So we've got 1 plus x to the power of n. So importantly, we need it to be a 1 at the front. If we haven't got 1 at the front in the question, we're going to factorise that out. I'll show you that in the examples. So 1 plus x to the power of n is given by 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 over 2x squared plus, and I'll write the third one in the top corner, n times n minus 1 and n minus 2 over 1 times 2 times 3, which is 6x cubed and we'd keep going so it would be n for the next one n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 over 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 which would be 24 x to the power of 4 and it keeps going following that pattern the expansion is only valid so only valid when our x here is in between minus 1 and plus 1 and that's because we need the terms to be getting smaller every time instead of bigger so let's have a look at an example so we've got 2 plus x to the power of minus 3 this has got a 2 inside the bracket but we need it to be a 1 inside the bracket so we're going to factorize out the 2 and I'll show you with a big bracket to start with. So if I just factorise out 2 from our bracket, I'd have 2 on the outside. And then 1 plus half x, or x over 2, inside. But we don't want to write it like that. We're going to say we've got 2 to the power of minus 3. And we've got 1 plus x over 2 to the power of minus 3. So now we've got this 2 to the power of minus 3 on the outside. We can change that to 1 eighth and we can just leave it there. So if we just leave 1 eighth on the outside and 1 plus x over 2 to the power of minus 3 as our bracket. And that's what we're going to expand. So we're going to ignore the 1 eighth and we're going to be expanding this part here. So let's have a go at that, the first four terms. So we've got 1 eighth times. So we've got 1 plus nx. So n is minus 3. x is x over 2. So 1 plus nx plus n, which is minus 3 times n minus 1, which would be minus 4, over 2, times x, which is x over 2, squared. So that's 1, 2, 3 terms. We need one more. So we're going to have n, which is minus 3, times n minus 1, times n minus 2, over 1 times 2 times 3, so over 6, times x over 2, cube this time so there we have our expansion and we just need to simplify now so again we'll leave the 1 8 from the outside and we'll just work on simplifying each term so we'll have 1 we can do the simplification in the calculator if you find it easier so this is minus 3 over 2 x we're going to have a plus so we've got 12 over 2 which is 6 times x squared over 4 so 6 times x squared over 4 which is 3 over 2 x squared so now we've got 3 it's going to be negative 3 times 4 times 5 so that's negative 60 over 6, so negative 10, 
times x cubed over 8. So negative 10 times x cubed over 8, which is 5 fourths x cubed. Again, use your calculator to make sure you're getting this simplification right. And one more thing to do, we need to multiply the 1 eighth by each term. So 1 eighth minus 3 sixteenths x plus 3 sixteenths x squared minus 5 over 32 x cubed. There's our expansion for the first four terms. And we had to state the range for which it is valid. So it is valid for when our x term, the mod of our x term, is less than 1. So when our x term is between minus 1 and plus 1. So we want the mod of our x term, the mod of our x term, which was x over 2, is less than 1. If we double both sides, we could change it to the mod of x is less than 2. Or even x is less than the mod of 2. Any of those, any of those would be, would be fine. Okay, here we've got another question. If you want to pause the video and give it a go, you can. Otherwise, keep watching. So we've got to find the first four terms of the expansion and state the range for which our expansion is valid. So we need there to be a 1 at the front. We've got a 2, so we're going to factorise out the 2 first. So we're going to ignore this 4 on the outside, factorise out the 2 from the bracket, which will leave 1 plus 3 over 2x inside, and that's the power of minus 1. We're going to rewrite it as 2 to the power of minus 1, and 1 plus 3 over 2x to the power of minus 1. We've got 4 times 2 to the power of minus 1. 2 to the power of minus 1 is a half, so 4 times a half is just 2. So we've got 2 times 1 plus 3 over 2x to the power of minus 1. So we're going to ignore the 2 and do the expansion of 1 plus 3 over 2x to the power of minus 1. So we'll write 2 on the outside. And then we'll do the expansion. So we've got 1 plus nx. n is minus 1. x is 3 over 2x. Plus n times n minus 1, which is minus 2. Over 2x squared. So 3 over 2x all squared. Plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 6 x cubed so now we need to simplify our expansion we can use a calculator to do that so you can just write each of these terms into the calculator leaving out the x so write them all in separately and it will give you the simplified uh, term so we've got 1 minus 3 over 2x, we've got plus 9 over 4x squared, and minus 27 over 8x cubed. And we need to multiply through by 2 to finish this off, so we've got 2 minus 3x plus 9 over 2x squared minus 27 over 4x cubed. So state the range for which the expansion is valid. So it's valid when mod x is less than 1. So in this case, our x term was 3 over 2x. So when mod 3 over 2x is less than 1. If we multiply by 2 and divide by 3, we'd get mod x is less than 2 thirds 
or we could write that as x is less than mod two thirds. So that's the range in which it's valid. So between minus two thirds and plus two thirds, we can use this expansion.